Once again, though, I wish there was a tape. <laughs> but I guess that's something you get used to. Here we go. I wish this rear view mirror would fit on it. That's my only thing. I feel like it's very small. I think there's an option to have it on the screen as well. Well, this steering wheel feels tighter. That, like, that might be a setting as well. I believe there's a way to customize whether you want tight steering or... turn left onto Greer's Chapel Road Northwest. Isn't that acceleration crazy? Yeah, it is. So what was it? So we're in this spot. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure you land back in this spot. How tight that turn is. I think you are. But it's like how, how big the circle had to be to get yeah. there. Is what... Definitely a bigger circle than the other one. I think it's about the same. I like this air conditioner. I feel like it's not blow like you're getting the cool but it's not just like a whoosh of air like your typical air conditioner keep fan lock i mean it will stay on after you leave the car it will turn off when battery reaches so it'll keep your car cool mm. and then it's got the my youtuber has the dog mode it says climate and screen will stay on after you exit opening windows from within the cabin will be disabled for pets and then it'll put a sign on here that says please don't it's like, I don't remember exactly what it says, but it's like, please don't call the cops or something. It's in dog mode. You yeah. Basically saying that your dog is safe. Oh, look, and then there's a camp. Car will stay on until battery reaches 20%. Sentry mode, security alarm, a walk away lock will be disabled. So I guess it just keeps you nice and cool if you were camping in here for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see. You got it at last. Like, maybe that's the camping mode. Yeah, just lay the seats down flat like, and put down an air mattress. Yeah, lay the seats down. You can put an air mattress or whatever back here, and then you can camp. There you go. This is my kind of camping because it gives you air conditioning. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to get it out. You probably fold the seat down, push it through, maybe. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And it just, there's little notches back here mm -hmm. for the for the thing to sit in. That just pops in. That looks a little deeper than the three. 53. This one, as is, 53, 380. Model 3 we drove was like 40 something. Yeah, I think it was about, I think it was 43 or 45. So the fork is about the same size. Yeah. And then here's your windshield wiper fluid. Look, that's, that's the only That's fluid. my kind of maintenance right there. Like, all I do is this. That's that's the only fluid to check. That's it. You can see my Publix. What Publix runs fitting in here. Yeah. And then you don't have to worry about them rolling all over the back of the sure. back of the seat. Good. There's an emissions testing mode where you can play a gassy prank on anyone in your car from any seat. <laughs> There's also a Santa mode. Spread holiday cheer year-round with Santa mode. That is cute. I would buy this car just for Santa mode. So this is kind of cool. If you tap on glove box, it will automatically open your glove box for you so you don't have to do the reach over and dig around it just automatically open we found dark mode which is our favorite and there's little snowflakes that will appear over here on santa who is a cutie patootie look at all the little reindeer now that we're in drive so i wonder if that's going to make the cars all reindeer i think they are <laughs> here comes one now oh that is adorable wonder what people are going to be. That is so cute. <laughs> it's like little, they look like kind of like little sim characters or something because they're just wandering around. <laughs> All right, now that we've had lunch, 
Our stomachs are full. We went to Walmart. We sat on it for a while. What are our final thoughts on our test drives today? I mean, yeah, Elon is a nutcase, but I don't think that should deter us from potentially buying Tesla. I, I know there's the I don't want to give him money thing, but there's also the I don't want to keep rewarding the other automotive manufacturers who just, or at least dealerships that just like to screw the customers constantly. I like the model of direct to consumer. Well, I also don't understand. Well, I mean, I do get it. I do know why. But I do feel like other automakers are so, are much more hesitant or, or, they're not in the EV game, I yeah. guess, you know. The like, other auto manufacturers aren't making great EVs. I mean, and I know. Tesla's not making great cars, but they're making great EVs. Like, they're not a good car company, but they're a good EV company. Would it be better to get a high-end Model 3 or, with all the bells and whistles or get a lower Model Y? Is it Y or X? Y. X was the one with the... Yeah. Yeah, it was like 100 grand. I always get the Y and the X confused. The thing is, is I like the space of the Y for what we need it for. But then again, you know, the girl, who knows how much longer she'll be living at home. I mean, she's going to graduate before we know it. So, well, is that even a factor? Toting around a kid. The third <laughs> row and the... Oh, yeah. The third row. We looked at the third row in the Y and it was terrible yeah. it was terrible like I got in the back and you hit one good bump and you're gonna hit your head on the back window and I am 5'8 for reference so I'm not even like super duper tall but anybody taller than that's gonna hit their head on the back so the third row definitely wouldn't spend I mean it's only an extra two thousand dollars for the third row and it looks it because that third row looks like a way afterthought and is very cheap looking and you also lose a leg room in the back seat i mean the third row is always going to be tight regardless yeah. but the middle row doesn't adjust yeah and if you have the third row you can't slide it forward or backwards even if you're not using that back row it's locked yeah whereas in my car i have a kia sereno the back row can move around can move up or back if you need it to just like the front seats do for adjustment I don't know, it's like one of those things that I think we could make the three work, but we also have parents that are getting older that we do drive around. So we have to, even though there's only three of us in our family, we do have to take into consideration them as well because they're getting older. At the age of our daughter right now, I think it would be fine for her to sit in the middle if we had to go somewhere. But, you know, she's also still growing. So at what point would that become uncomfortable? <laughs> per, you know, but then at the same time, not all five of us are together 24 seven. And the dog very rarely goes places with us like that when it's all of us together. And not to sound morbid, but I mean, he's getting older. He's not gonna be around forever, unfortunately. But then there's also the used option, like Carvana had a couple used Ys long range that were the price of a three. The only what year? Huh? What year were they? One was a 2022 and one was a 2023. See, and, yeah. And I think one had five, 2022 had 5,000 miles on it and the 2023 I think had 3,000 miles. The 2023 is the year that Consumer Reports first started recommending. Okay, so you would probably want at least a 2023. I mean, if you, if you believe in Consumer Reports' right. metrics, I mean, a lot of it is just data they collect from their customers directly so like, I don't know if, if you don't know consumer report sends out surveys every year at the end of the year to get your pulse on the vehicle you drive or the thing you know the phone you use or whatever and that's how they collect all their data is directly with consumers and the products that they use it's not a metric that is like they do their own testing you know in labs and they have their own experts but I mean the majority of like the customer satisfactions in the surveys that comes directly from their customers but i think the either way we're it's on our plan on our 
five-year plan, so to speak. I don't think it'll be five years, but at some point, it'll happen. But we have time to think about it. It's not something we're looking to do right this second. My car is still doing really well. The test drive did get me more yeah. excited about the Cybertruck. And they said at the Kennesaw location anyway that they are going to get a demo of the Cybertruck. Not to drive, though. I think he said just to look at. A, a showroom. A showroom, yeah. But they don't know when they're going to get it yet. So if you live in the Atlanta area, supposedly they're supposed to get one at some point. I wonder if the one in Alpharetta is going to get one or if they have it already. Probably... But Alpharetta's bougie, so they might. <laughs> but anyway, my battery is dying. We're going to get home. The girl's home from school. We stop for lunch at Nukes. Haven't been to Nukes in a long time, and I forgot how good it is. It was a nice little lunch. And then tonight, we're going to go look at Christmas lights. So, I'll look at the sun. <laughs>